What is it like living in fear? What is it like being scared of your own shadow? What is it like in being genuflectingly humble? What is it like to be embarrassable and extremely sensitive and vulnerable to mockery, ridicule, sarcasm, name-calling, baiting, and insults? What is it like to be that vulnerable and go out? What does that feel like? A lot of it is engrams. Those are re-stimulators caused by emotional trauma that has been innervated into the very being and is instantly awakened by an event or an imagined event or fear or stinking thinking. That means not knowing the difference between what's inside and what's out there. That's that means being hoaxed, being double talked, being conned translates into fear. The fear is in your mind. It's all in your mind. The problem is like the great champion Rocky Marciano said, I trained to such an extent that I wiped out all fear. And I was in such a condition that I didn't have to worry about my, re my resistance and endurance. I could stand up to whatever happened in an hour. The only way you can do that is practice, 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 transmute, know where you're vulnerable. Where am I vulnerable? And you have to be very fair with reality. If you're walking out there, you're walking with a woman, for example, and visually you're not an item. In my case, I'm a short old man. You have to understand you're going to have to share her. The advice I would give is don't be possessive, don't be jealous. You're going to lose her if you are. And the other thing I would say is make an arrangement, negotiate. Everything is negotiations. But that understand also that there's such a thing as reneging, no means no. Now this now is a very complicated matrix. I'm going to leave it just like that to provoke questioning and further inquiry. Thank you.